What's up, Time Creepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing you Orwell Ignorance's Strength, Episode 3, Synthesis. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, today I'm bringing you the final episode of Season 2 of Orwell, Ignorance and Strength. Hopefully you guys are ready, this is a game I enjoyed, it's gonna be sad finishing it for now, but uh, all good stuff, uh, all good thing have to come to an end, sorry I gotta adjust my microphone here. So yeah, final episode, it took me a while longer to do this one compared to the other ones. I just had a lot of other things I wanted to do and it completely, completely left my mind there that this uh, chapter, uh, episode 3 was coming out. So without further ado, let's just keep going from where we were last time and, and jump into episode 3. Let's do this. Episode 3, Synthesis. We're in. Oh, you're back again, just in time. We have, we have need of you. Raban Vard na nabbed us with that article on Kassart yesterday has gone viral as we expected. The situation is heated up. Uh, of course, President Kassar could not leave it at that. He filed an, an extradition request this very morning for VAR. Prime Minister Blaine has shifted his schedule to fly out to Trifle, Trifle, Trifleth and meet Kassar, convince him of letting go or else all hell will break loose. Oh, that's not good. Raban Vard might have taken a, a severe blow, but he is Far from giving up. Instead, he fired shot. See for yourself. Okay, what am I looking at here? Home. War is inevitable. Alright. They're out to discredit me and bring down what the people voice stand for, but we are stronger than them. Uh, Kassart might have demanded my extradition, but this this war is not over. We'll fight back against traitor Kassart and Blaine, who own the manipulative government apparatus designed to keep us under control. The government of the nation has dragged my family into this con this conflict and I will not let them get away with this. I'm still here and as so is the people's voice and we are loud. We have a strong ground of supporters who are loyal and will help us get back on track. Know, know thyself, know, know the, thy enemy. We will fight back with the complete new people's voice presenting a kind of strength never foreseen. The government of the nation has declared war on the people's voice. They are trying to enslave their own people and my own by manipulating the media. Down with the government, down with Kassard and Blaine. Alright. Alright, let's go bring this to his profile. War. Can you believe it? Who does this prick think he is? Agent is... This has to end today. Vars would no longer un un undermine the peace of neither parts or nor the nation. If the war he wants, we can accommodate him. We have our own arsenal, the likes of which Var doesn't dare to dream about. When Orwell was created, the office requested a number of additional features beyond the day-to-day -day task investigators. Uh, some top-level government member objected. They had the obnoxious idea of integrating ethical codex into Orwell, limiting the, its capabilities. Naturally, this would not do for us. We are the nation's warden, and we do not, uh, we won't be restricted by some arbitrary set of rules. So we found a way, as we always do, to develop a branch of our project, the very piece of software you're using right now. Time to make use of its full potential. Alright. Influencers. Okay, this is a new thing. Let's just uh, uh, see the new stuff going on here. And investigate a vert catastrophe at the circle. Mo Can't click on that, read more. Okay, I think this is the... From the first one here. Okay. Oh, okay, that's all the whiskey. Beyond Watch, Kamar Harnet reflects the last week article of Call the Citizen Nation Show Courage or Face of Terror. Hmm. Move release in danger by loss against director. Okay. Insider. History browser. Yeah, I've went to all of these before. Nothing new here. Damn good coffee conversation with Mary P. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, new conversation today. I'm sorry about what happened. I have the foggiest notion of what posts this bloody picture. Thought your father was me who wanted the picture taken in the first place. God, that was so stupid. I'm really sorry. It's okay, Karen. We went. We want this together. Where, where are you up to now? We're not going home, are you? I need to. No, please don't. After this, I'm not sure what he'll do. 
Ilya, what the worst that could happen? He would never be lying to me, you know that. Uh, you know, um, you know that my offer still holds, don't you? Do Hearst is beautiful around this time of year. Yes, I got the, the flyer you sent me. It's beautiful for sure, but I told you I can't just leave Bonton. Uh, I've got to go now, but I'm I'm not sure I'll be able to get back to you on here. Keep your head down. All right, drop me a message in case anything goes wrong. Reben knows anyway. The best of luck to you. Uh, okay, those are older messages. All right. Let's see what else? Uh, administration log. Remove contributor status from Sha from Sean, Danielle, Ilya. Okay. All right. Could it be that our action caused a bit of trouble among the ranks of people's voice? Good. Let's see what else. Uh, you're working. Our government leader. Okay. It is nothing but hypocrite. Uh, Robin, I had enough of this one-man show you call a collective. This article, contrary to everything people's voice stands for, at least in my mind, we've long passed the point of no return. We're no longer a group of journalists. We're thoughtful, conservative rhetorics. Instead, it's side become a Mott Pete for an egocentric maniac who declares war against the government. I'll not put up this anymore. I quit. We are such a coward. You always have been now that we've finally seen our influence growing, that our voice is being heard, the chance of an error, you just run off and quit. Uh, I should have known that when you signed on that you weren't built to stand this heat. Just another bag of air and the chicken's out, okay? Seriously, Reban, insulting our staff? What kind of leader are you? What kind of journalist are you? You have long stopped covering... Uh, cov uh, wait a minute. Uncovering the so-called truth, you are turned into a liar and puppeteer yourself. We know a better Kassar to blame, blah, blah, blah. I'll not put up for this. Grow a backbone and you cowards. No, okay. Guess everybody's quitting on him. Makes sense. Okay, let's just uh, clear these articles so I get rid of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read all this because I don't know how... How much this is relevant to what we're, we're doing. What's this? Okay. See if there's anything else of importance here before we move on to the influencer tab. Or influencer, okay. Behold the influencer, the centerpiece of our very own ver version of Orwell. Not even the government has the clue that this exists. Okay, that's not good. It can spread a story through social media channel efficiently and thoroughly, and I'm putting you in charge of it. Oh, that's not good. First, we need to the thesis, the key statement which Redman made in his latest article. Okay. How the fuck do I do that? Uh, how do I make this? Hmm, just give me a second here. Oh, okay, just go to the article, I guess. All right. The government dragging his family into the conflict. This should have clearly opposed Ribbon's action. It would have happened. Well... We will counteract this claim accordingly. Let me set that in the influencer. Okay. Well, here we go. Here's how it works. You can't you can't simply make up and randomly spread stuff. Instead, I need you to get me palpable information which can be used to counter Raban's statement. Okay. From pairs of data chunk that create a, cer a certain context together. Construct narrative which can then be spread to in the influencer. So find me data chunks that to construct a narrative from. With the latest thesis said in the influencer, new data chunk may be discovered in old documents. Take a look around. All right. Let's go look at old stuff. If you're not willing to go to all the way with me and you're against me, you'll be away too far. Okay. We'll upload this. Everyone's becoming more and more in unhinged, sensing betrayal around every corner. 
Yes, we can use that, but not enough on its own. We need a good context to put this into. Okay. Let's see if we can find something else here. Something useful for our little maniac here. Uh, is there something here? Oh. You're not my wife anymore. Okay, that could be useful for something. Uh, my, my, why would anyone be enraged about such a bag bagatelle? Does it hurt when your own reality proved to be fake, Fart? Be that as it may, we can surely utilize this circumstance as our own good. Hmm. First, his brother is a potential enemy. Now he wants nothing to do with his wife anymore. One could easily get the idea his family members aren't quite as important as central to Reban Vars as he claims. Hmm. Let me create something out of what I've got here. Okay. Narrative, so, uh, agent, the first narrative is ready to be spread out through the influence. To do so, drag it to the slot in the influencer window and confirm. Using the influencer is extensive, is extensive and takes about an hour of time to complete. Only get a very limited chance to spread narrative today. Make sure they count. However, I, I should probably warn you, what's out there is out there forever. And, inform, and information can be the most devastating weapon. Now, if you do, the, would you do the honors? Save Karen and Ilya. How Reben Vars is terrorizing his wife and brother after learned of their affair. Oh, Jesus Christ, eh? That's, uh, that's gonna be something. Hmm. I don't know about this. Let's spread this around. That is spreading. That uploaded. Alright. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. This is I think. Okay, that's what it means. It takes about an hour of my time up here. Okay. Okay, shit's starting to pop up here. The, the first information spread by your command command alone. It's a beautiful thing to destruction of truth, isn't it? Not really. I believe we pulled the right strings there. People have swallowed the beta. Uh, as you can see on Blabber, we had some good impact on his listener count. I have no doubt Rabban won't let this go easily. I wouldn't be surprised if an uh, appropriate response with him soon. Perhaps you can find out what he is up to before he is actually publishing it so we can prepare our next narrative beforehand. I guess so. Okay. I always thought you were a bit out of touch with your article, but terrorizing your family? Not cool. But for someone claiming to speak the name of the people. Hmm. You are not nothing about my private life. You claim are wrong. You do not have the right to judge me. Uh, fuck you, Vard. You have crossed many lines since you started the ridiculous blog, but intimidating your own family is beyond fucked up. Uh, I have never and would never aggressive in any way towards my family. I do not own any explanation for anything. Crawl back into your hole you ascended from. Okay. You did the right thing, uh, and this whole hype is bullshit for that, okay? Okay, so people are not enjoying this? Okay, dry. Destroy the media monster. Uh, we will always fight back. In the dark cave, in an endless information network that lurks out of the inconvenience, victim saying in their way, and from now I call them media monsters, the government apparatus. I believe the family member to be loyal to them. Okay. These awful creatures do not be considered human and they're against trying to imagine my family member. Time is loyal to him? Oh, please, I wonder if Redman believes himself what he's writing there. In any case, let's see if we can shake up the, the that feeling of loyalty a bit more and prove Redman wrong for himself and and for the public. Okay, agent, get me pairs of data chunk from which I can construct narrative that we can spread. Pay attention to anything we might use to put Ilya Karen's loyalty to him in doubt. Okay, has always been loyal to his uh, family, will remain. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. Karen living in the... Okay. D didn't we not already have her PC, though? Hmm. Let's see what else we can find here. Administration log. 
Ban exit from phone. stuff let's see if there's any more articles we can use here there's nothing new so let's go to his desktop gallery so okay nothing here sky chat unsent draft uh you I love you I want to spend the rest of my life with you I'm going to leave my uh, please come okay this could be useful for something. Sorry, sometimes I'm like accelerating. Oh, now what do we have here? If that isn't a front to loyalty, I don't know what is. Their affair is one thing, but we need something to show Karen is going all in with Ilya now to disprove his loyalty as well. Okay. Yeah, Karen, I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm going to leave Nara. Please come with me. Okay, I already read that. So, uh, let's see here. There's more conversations. Uh, nothing of importance here. Nothing of importance here, I think. That's the final one. So. Already got that. E-tickets. E-tickets are wallet empty. That means you didn't buy any tickets yet. Contact uh, Karen. Let's see if we can connect her phone. I thought I already had all of this stuff. I don't know why I keep going back that way. Uh, never forget to ask out about uh, Captain Ilya and Janeway. Okay. Let's upload this. Probably important for something. Oh. Plane cancels me for a surprise visit. Meaning for a surprise visit to Spriff. Okay. Uh, let's go back insider got her PC private hey 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 lovely man how are about how are you today not so good uh, what happened uh, I stood in the lunch line of one of a half hour there was nothing but bread left I had I know I am not uh, uh, fussy with food but after not having any lunch for the last two days it stress it stresses me out the guy in the food handout told me to fuck off it I didn't like it Oh my god, I have no idea. Blah blah. Okay, so this is a long conversation. Let's see if I can find something here. Um, by the way, I have packed the lo I've picked the location. I think we could have a beautiful wedding ceremony in Bonton City Park. Main uh, room. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do you want this? You want? If you want it, I absolutely sure. I love you. Okay. Very picturesque. Maybe we can find a photo of somewhere. Uh, show conflict. I don't have it. Rehab council. Case patient. Uh, Bantan rehab. Okay. okay. Raban. The patient was initially very unresponsive and quickly in a therapy session. Around the summer of the patient went through a sudden change. He seemed to become more outgoing, happier, and willing to take more. I start recommending extend therapy. We would like to keep him under close observation personally. Wrong profile. Let's go under Raban. Upload this to here. Considering the trauma he endured when he was killed bond, this comes at no surprise. Upload here. It got better all of a sudden. Something important must have happened at the time. Yeah. Hmm. What could all this be leading to? How awful caring of her, or maybe not. This could be useful to make Ryan doubt Karen's motivation in marrying him, but we need to, the right context first. Yeah. Sure. Uh, this is Ilya. His optimism is an overall social friendly character as well as tends to look at the bright side. 
Uh, he especially uh, emphasized uh, his heroic escape from military service in parts on multiple. Ca huh, I'm sure this can be changed. Uh, do I have the. No, I do not have the conflict here. This is conflict with another document. That, uh, interested in moving to Derwood to show conflict. Hmm. Because technically, if she puts it in the trash, I guess she's not that interested, so let's not, uh. It'd be odd. Well, despite everything that happened, but she's be better off leaving her husband behind. Ribbon versus Doom, he will be going, he will go down, and if Karen is still around at the time, still will, will she? Uh, I don't think I have, uh, I think, yeah, that's all I got here. What else happened? Why, why is it, uh, reader? There's got to be something in the reader that popped up. Headline. Uh, okay. Uh, bon on um, Saturday morning, Prime Minister Blaine made a surprise shift of priorities. Originally scheduled for crisis meeting with security of the Kirkwood. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, uh, okay, huh. I knew you liked the art therapist, uh, uh, when was this, okay, this is, uh, what date is it, yeah, okay, uh, oh yeah, stop it, our situation in this camp is terrible and we aren't being fed like animals, and all you can talk about is your dumb crush on the therapist, Karen fascinates me, she doesn't like me in one bit, I have to find a way to escape the refugee camp at any cost, let's put this under ribbon, Uh, this could definitely be useful if we're back with the right facts. Ruben, I know decisions right now is big, Ben. You have been through a lot, but there are brighter times ahead. We might be here for a while, and you're right. As for Karen, well, if not so interested in mine, if it take a shot, maybe if I need to prove her I'm not a child. I wish I could share your na naive optimism, brother. Okay. So here he says, uh, Karen fancies me. He doesn't like me one bit. Okay. Uh, and then if we go to conflict. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I think that would be... I think uh, between those two, I think it's, this is more recent. Got to check that. Yeah, sure. All while having an affair with her brother-in-law. There's no date on this, so I'm not sure. Well, I guess we're gonna take a shot here and go with that. Sorry. Sorry. That's quite the feat, escaping from service in Parge. That's it? That's all you're giving me? God darn it. Oh, damn it. Okay. Like, get something out of this, but we need a little extra to dramatize the story. Okay. Then I finally found something. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it took me forever. Uh, but if our marriage has brought any good women, we finally didn't have to endure the awful camp any longer. Okay, I don't know if that's... Upload that here. See if that helps to anything. Took me forever to find that information. Permanent residency is great. 
Created upon marriage to a citizen for a spouse as well as a family member. Think about rather than want to escape for any means necessary. This sounds like he could have harassed a sham marriage. Let me get a bit of creative here. Oh, okay. Okay, well that works, I guess. We now pose one nar narrative that could potentially spread. However, we can only hit Rabban after he has published his next article. We'll need to buy it, bid our time for the moment. Use the time well to dig for more narrative. Give, give me everything that could be of use. Finally, shit's starting to pop up. Uh, Rabban first has published that we can strike now. Remember, you are still able to dig for more narrative, so we may want to do that before you spread anything. As soon as you're ready, spread the narrative that seems most promising to you and the, and the influencer. We only get one chance here. Okie dokie. I guess I'll use the influencer because I don't really have a choice. Fake marriage. How Reven Vart to the people voice plan his escape from a refugee camp by seducing their therapist. I guess that's where we're going with because I can't, I, I can't find anything else unless there's really something hidden here I didn't see or anything. Now I must wait an hour. Oh, got some more stuff going on here. <sighs> Alright, your face shows you're a complete fraud, especially since you claim that you plan to return to your home country anyway. This should be illegal. Uh, it is illegal. Neither my wife or I married for another reason, and it's not of your fucking business, so what the fuck? Off your fish, asshole. Okay. Happy with that? You have you have achieved uh, attacking Dwarf Marriage was a good idea. Very personal. If many of his followers took his this to her heart, Herman has taken a blow, but he is not going down yet. Speaking of which, let's check out what he is up to writing. Okay. Um, the uprising against the government of Paris has begun. The angry crowd in front of a personal palace is terrific. Is growing. Herman is one of the the thank for this and fake marriage. Remember the story. Begging you from the truth. We're going okay. Uh, I knew it. Fucking immigrants setting up in fake marriage in order to get the country get back to your own goddamn country and stop annoying us with your pathetic blog. My wife would never consider herself one of your women losing losers like you make me vomit. It's true that you did not marry one dozen might single again soon. Alright. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright. 